Hello everyone. Now I'd like to introduce a conversation about electrical installation. First of all, the electrical device has a safety requirement for the players. You can look at his clothes. The first step is to put on all the work clothes. The second step is to wear protective gloves. The third one needs to wear a helmet. This hat has a hard plastic cover inside. It can be used as a helmet. In addition, insulating shoes must be worn well. When the safety production is all in place, you will get a drawing. There is a development surface of equipment on this drawing. First of all, our equipment is a trapezoidal mechanism, so its unfolding is a front wall, left wall. The right wall also has a top surface. The top surface is a trapezoid. What we need to do is on the whole wall for components and installations and fixing of some trucking and conduit. You can see each grade is 10 by 10 cm. The length by width is 10 by 10 cm. So the center line is this. Each wall has a center line of a cross. What we need to do is install a clear box. SW2. We install it according to the grid and the center line. First of all, the box is away from the center line. The distance is 4 squares. The center of the box is from the center line. When installing, count 4 squares directly from the center line to the right, to the middle of SW2 bright box. Horizontal distance is a square. That is to say, the distance between the bottom of the box and the horizontal center is 10 cm. All positions are fixed in this way. Now, using this drawing, you can do one of the following operations. You can have a look. First, take out the laser level, adjust the height to approximately to the middle of a device. Lock after adjustment. Take a look after the laser level is locked. Take out a steel ruler. From this part of the wall to the right of this wall. The overall size is 1.6 meters. So what do we need to do? Find the location of this center. So 1.6 meters divided by 2 is 0 0.8 meters. Look at this position. Let's adjust the level. Find the approximate center. 2.4 meters from top to bottom. So divide it by 2 from the bottom to the top and the length is 1.2 meters. Horizontal center line is 1.2 meters away from the bottom. So after we find the center line, along the less horizontal line, take a pencil to mark directly. Then the center line is finished. When you draw the center line, because of the boards, the wall is smooth. It will be very slippery when marking with steel ruler. So we have a ruler on our device. You can have a look. There are two layers of rubber behind this one. Attach the board for a skid resistance. So when you draw a line, there will be no slide from the ruler. When the center line is finished, determine the size of the components. The next step is install the components. For example, put this clear box. 
Be careful when installing horizontal and vertical components. So what do you need to do when you install it? It needs to be like this, such as in this location, before installation. Stick the level ruler and one side from the open box tightly. Put it where it should be installed. Then look the bubble on the level. When the bubble is in the middle, using a screw or electrical drill to make a fixation. Fix it like this. For example, installation of trucking, we can use a ruler to measure. This is a tap measure, you can have a look. For example, the distance between the raceway and the center line is 10 cm. We measure 10 cm with the ruler and the draw lines. Draw the edge of the slot. When the rail raceway is OK, there is a problem when we install trucking. There is a gap in the trucking. When trucking and trucking are spliced, it creates an intersection. How to deal with the intersection? You can use angle scissors at the intersections. When trucking and trucking overlap, cut it at the angle. After cutting off, install the trucking on the wall. This is angle scissors. When after the side load is installed, we are going to do the grading on the edge of the raceway. What does grading tools involve? It's ceramic scrapers. It's necessary to remove the birth of wire groove in process standard. The second is to take the sandpaper holder, bring the side of the raceway. After polishing, trunking installation completed. You work on a band. It's a pipe band. All pipes must be put in in the pipe bender. To process the pipe, you must put it in. Then carry out bending operation. Install after bend pipe. Be sure to install his terminal. For this one. For example, this tube has two curvatures. When you are wiring wires or cable, it's not easy to get in. So what do we need to use? Riding device. Take a look at this threading device. There is a small poly on the threading device. Get straight in. It's very convenient. The poly runs from one end to the other end of the pipe. There is a small circle at this end. Put the wire. So we put the threading device at the other end. The wire goes in. Next step, when the trucking is installed, then we need a rubber hammer.
when the distribution box is wiring, wire strippers are required. This position is adjustable. Just the length of cable dropping. This is a wire striper. Press a needle. Crimping pilers. When the process is finished, this is what happens. Peel it again. When the cable is bound, take this cable for example, making a binding with the tide. The binding process requires a moderate degree of tightness. In this case, a vent clamp is needed. Put the tide in. In this way, the cut eye will be flat. Except for this one, we need to open holes when storing the distribution box. For example, we open this hole, cable installation hole. We got a bit for electrical hand drill. Make an opening. or use a trap to make an opening. When all devices and wires are installed, after installation according to the drawing and circuit diagram, we are going to do a power transmission operation. Test report is required before power transmission. Be sure to check all the wiring whether the insulation resistance and the grounding resistance meet the requirements. The first measurement is grounding resistance. Need a fluke 1587C meter. It's a multimeter with insulating resistance tester. First turn to insulation gear. Then connect one end to the general ground of a device. Take a look at this drawing. One end is connected to the ground wire of the industrial socket. Then the other end makes a connection of all places. For example, this is connected to an industrial socket. Press the test key to match the pen at the other hand. Carry out the ground test. Long press and the value will appear. All ground connections need to be tested. The pen needs to be reached 500 volt. Proof when zero is displayed, the ground connection is normal. When the display is greater than 550 mago, abnormal installation. All devices connect to ground such as limit switch, distribution box bridge, we all need to test it. As long as it involves the length, when measuring the grounding continuous resistance, you need to view in the value of grounding resistance in the test report. Step 2. The insulation resistance should be measured. Insulation resistance refers to resistance between ground and any charges node. 
For instance, one end is connected to the ground chandelier pan. The pan just turned to the insulations. Now turn to on for a measurement. Measure the resistance between items and ground must be greater than 1 megaohm. Between items in the distribution box, the resistance of each item must be greater than 1 megaohm. This is the measurement of continuous resistance and insulation resistance of grounding. This matter is needed. The first measurement of grounding resistance insulation is required. At the same time, the prop insertion position is here. This is grounding resistance. Insulation resistance. Turn to on. When equipment is transmitting power, always wear protective gloves. When wearing protective equipment, let's do another power sending operation. During power transmission, it needs to be based on different colors to insert different patch terminals. Attention should be paid to power transmission of equipment before power transmission. Turn this switch on. This is the lightning of the equipment. In case of tripping or short circuit, we have insurance here. In case of tripping or short circuit, we can take out the insurance. After putting on insurance directly, carry out measurement of equipment before power transmission. That's all. Thank you.